All right, welcome back everyone. I'm at 38 Pelican Crest Drive in Pelican Crest, Newport Coast, California. Brand new listing coming on the market. Uh, actually, we're shooting photos today, so you'll see our guy John around in some of his gear, so don't worry about that. But um, really excited about this one. About $20 million, five bedrooms, eight baths, about 9,200 square feet, and sits on a promontory here, which has just a phenomenal view, which we're gonna take you to see. Gorgeous, full renovation on this one. On trend, you'll see beautiful French oak, uh, European oak flooring, lots of use of beautiful stone, lighting fixtures, just everything on trend and beautiful, beautifully done. Follow me in, so you've got this circular rotunda as you walk in the foyer, steps down, here's the wide plank, European oak flooring. Our man John's over there doing his craft. But while you uh, pan off of his beautiful model-like face, you can see what's going on here. Look at the stone around the fireplace. And I think, Steve, if we'll just, sorry to jump on you like that, but let's just run straight through here like we always do when you've got these beautiful views. Sorry, John, we'll just be two seconds passing you. We're gonna come out here and just take advantage of, you know, why you live in Newport Coast, why you spend the money for these properties, the view. Look at how Catalina Island is framed up. Absolutely stunning. Really no rooftops whatsoever. You have this beautiful valley underneath you. Gorgeous estate off to the left. And then down there, uh, you see some of Pelican. You got the golf course view as well, which is always sort of a double bonus, right? You've got ocean, I mean, panoramic ocean, Catalina, and golf course, all for $20 million? Come on, let's go this way. So you have this beautiful outdoor covered eating. So you have El Fresco dining. We're gonna come wrap back around so you can see where this is off of, but that's off the family room where you have a really cool bar. And then you head over to this area where you have a beautiful swimming pool and you'll just notice the privacy. You know, you have this hedge um, that creates this beautiful privacy. And Steve, if you pan back over here, another beautiful covered area where the fireplace and bar. I'm sorry, not fireplace, barbecue. <laughs> we'll leave that in, boop, blooper. All right, let's go back through. We're gonna wrap around that, that living room area into the kitchen. And I was just uh, talking with Steve, talking, I love the cabinetry and the vibe that they have throughout the house with the custom cabinetry. It has very European flavor. So we'll, uh, yeah, stone, lighting fixtures, beautiful. Okay, pop through here. We've got all the lighting accessories, don't trip on that. But I mean, look at this kitchen, phenomenal. I love the island, the use of stone, the use of this wood, and you know, it's the little details, the way these are framed in, beautifully done. Miele appliances, you know, I love the, the finish on the cabinetry and the, uh, the stone tops. This is actually really cool too. I love this feature, this backlit display case. I mean, kind of a buffet area, very nice for when you're entertaining. You've got your eating breakfast nook with the view. Gorgeous, very cool. I like the look at the cabinetry in, in the walk-in pantry. I mean, these little details are very, very, uh, let me get that light. There we go. Love the cabinetry, as I would mentioned. So right off the kitchen, flowing straight into your open, big, beautiful family room, TV room. I mean, look at the size of this sofa. It's huge. You have to have two coffee tables with this one. Beautiful fireplace. Again, beautiful use of stone on this bar. And right back out to that view. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. The ceiling height in here, everything's white, bright, like I said, on trend. It's what everybody's looking for these days. Well, it's very generalized. Gen it's a generalization, not everybody, obviously, but, and I love the size of this dining room, and I love the fact that it's open to all of this. So you're entertaining, you've got this beautiful dining room, people can retire right there to the family room. The mirrors bring in the view, so if you happen to be on that side of the table, you're still getting that beautiful ocean view. 
All right, if you follow me this way, back here, you've got a guest powder. I really like the use of stone in here and the wall treatments. That's gorgeous, I love that. And then you have this big guest suite, enormous. I mean, look at the size of this guest suite. So this would be a great kind of a junior master, really beautiful bathroom. Look at, look at all the treatments in here, the use of stone, the color, the size of that shower. It's just gorgeous. Light's not on in here. God, I did a terrible job preparing for this. Oh, it's motion censored, but I really like the use again of this cabinetry that's uh, kind of that European vibe. If you catch the ceiling too, you've got a stacked barreled ceiling in here and that light fixture is just spectacular, I love it. All right, this is a, this is a great, you know, in-law, junior master, guest suite, or, you know, teen room. Super cool with access right there, although you don't want your teens popping out that door. If you follow me now, we are gonna go downstairs. Downstairs, subterranean, usually up here are the fun zone, right? So you have subterranean parking, movie theater, game room, wine cellar, all the fun stuff's down here. So back here, you've got your wine cellar. Again, with the lights. Steve, we didn't prepare very well. And then um, in here, you've got laundry, another powder room, beautiful laundry, four machines and lots of space, nice cabinetry, nice and clean. And then back here, the rest of the fun zone you've got, this is such a cool game room right off your movie theater. I love the use of cabinetry and this cool display for all the candy. The kids will be bouncing off all the walls for sure. And then this beautiful, very modern, gorgeous movie theater. So from the movie theater, let's walk back through the game room into the subterranean garage, which is a very, very spacious garage. People always ask how many cars, it just depends on how many cars you have. If you have a bunch of small cars, you can fit a bunch in here. I don't know the exact number, but really nice garage, flat, lots of space. I don't know, six, eight cars, easy. And then you have your gym, which is really cool. Mirrored up, rubber floors. Got your fridge over there for your water. And I like to do those little wet, rolled up eucalyptus towels. I love that. All right, let's go from here all the way to the third floor. Check out the master or primary suite bedroom and secondary bedrooms. Don't want to forget, actually, before we go around upstairs, there is the executive office right here. So we'll pop through here. I love the color palette in here uh, and the paneling, the use of the paneling and the, just the features are gorgeous. I love this stone. We got the spheres. One of my last videos had spheres everywhere. This one has one, two, three spheres that I've seen so far. Whoop, watch that step. This lighting uh, system is beautiful. I love this drop dangling lighting system. So as we head up, Secondary bedrooms off to the uh, right. Primary suite, double door entrance here. Let's pop in and we'll come back to that bathroom. So these all open up, give you this beautiful view. Another set of spheres, all right. <laughs> so beautiful primary suite. Back here into the, uh, we can't say it, but his bathroom. Um, Beautiful shower, the use of the, the stone materials in here is gorgeous again. Uh, love this European closet systems with the smoked glass, beautiful. And then Steve, we will make our way back. This is a cool sitting area. I'd probably drop a rug right here. Um, and then you make your way back here into the hers bathroom. Don't cancel me, anyone. You've got your uh, makeup station, 
vanity over here. Beautiful shower, beautiful view. Look, you got Catalina straight from your bathtub. And then you've got uh, your closet over here to wrap it all up. From here, we're gonna walk down the hall and check out the secondary bedrooms. I love the vibe in here though. It's so bright and I don't know, the energy is really good. I love it. So look at the size of the secondary bedroom. You've got two beds in here. This is a ginormous secondary bedroom, walk-in closet, beautiful bath, that beautiful cabinetry that I like so much. I like the color they used in here. It's the white has a little bit of a gray to it. It's, it's very warm and inviting. Another bedroom. So as I mentioned, there's five bedrooms. There's four upstairs, there's one downstairs. I like this vibe too, because all the bathrooms so this is if, you know, a little tiny bit more masculine, has some warmth to it with the grays. I'm really into gray right now. I mean, I'm wearing blue, but I've been wearing gray every day. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm sure that uh, a therapist can help me with that. And then uh, this is the final room. Look at the sunlight coming in this bedroom. So I don't know. I mean, if you don't want to have your gym downstairs and you don't need all these bedrooms, this to me would be either an amazing gym, you have your Peloton set up and you're looking at Catalina Island, the light coming in here, or it would be an amazing office too. If you don't need five bedrooms, this would be, for me, this would be the coolest room almost in the house besides the primary suite where you could have it be an office or a gym or something like that, you know, yoga room. Um, you've got the bathroom right here. Again, with some cool, Alternate colors, I love it. The gray, I love the cabinetry. Sorry, Steve. So we will finish on this note. You can come out here. I mean, when you pan and you get a look at that house that's over there, you really feel like you're in Italy. I mean, you've got the Italian olive trees. Look at that rooftop. I mean, just spectacular. Looking down on the golf course, this little valley that is just beautiful with the greenery, no rooftops, full privacy, looking out over Catalina Island. It just doesn't get much better. Thanks for joining me. Can't wait to show you the next one.